Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing video. As you've seen in my previous video, I actually um, received my gaming case and finally now my power supply came here. I know 500 watts isn't the fastest that you can get, but for now I'm not going to build like a power consumption piece here. So this should be fine because it's uh, I wanted to get a 750, but this is actually three times cheaper and my budget isn't um, that good. So I need to save where I can save. So I got the 500 for now. Later on when I get water cooling and all that, I might be upgrading. So let's take this out and then you can actually see how the Antec VP500 looks like. And then we will be also later on be seeing how it looks like in my case. I'm not going to show it in this video though. So for you guys that actually just want to see here at the back, let's just zoom in there. So there you can see all the details that you might want to see, the heavy caps, all that stuff. Um, Antec, in my reach search, it showed that it's quite a good power supply, so I hope it will be good. Okay, so here's the power cable. This isn't so nice, so I will be swapping this out with one of my other kettle cords, like they say. Nothing else in the box, only some screws that we will be using to insert there and then that. Okay. So basically, this only tells you basically um, how many rails are there and the power connectors that you can actually expect to be in here so let's just take this they really package this stuff quite nice i must say it's really not hopefully i don't short myself out here let's just... So just normal, so you can't put your screen in here, that doesn't matter so much. And then over here you will see all the connectors. Unfortunately it's not a modular case, that will also be in the future, so meaning you will be able to actually put in here all the different cables that you will need, so for cable management that would be nice. But currently I don't really care about that, I just want to start using my PC. And then over here you've got the connector for the motherboard. And then just your normal other connectors over here. Uh, almost thought there's no SATAs. So there's power connectors for SATA, your normal or your old hard drives, fans and everything. So basically uh, that PCI Express as I have it will also just go into your graphics card. So that's basically all the connectors that this power supply has. So it's a 500 watts so I will be installing this into my case and then as my other parts actually get here, we will get into the build. So until next time, guys. Cheers.